already with these students from Florida who are walking the same distance every day. So these 18 miles um, uh, are really meaningful and uh, we hope that uh, many people can join us this Saturday, um, the February 27th. So, 오늘은 어, California Trails of uh, Trail of Dreams라고 하지만 한국말로는 어, 이민 개혁 더 이상 기다릴 수 없다라고 팀을 다시 좀 정해봤습니다. 그래서 어, 목사님 그 다음에 같이 참여하는 어, 학생 그 다음에 학생 리더 여러분들이 왜이 걷기에 참여하는지 어, 말씀해 주실 거예요. 그리고 먼저 올리비아 씨가 지금 그 여러 가지 상황들 먼저 말씀해 주세요. Okay, um, and for this reason, uh, we have joined with us um, both walkers who will be walking on this coming Saturday, um, Cindy and Jeff, and also we have our uh, Reverend Roberts here to speak on behalf of the faith community on why immigration reform is so important to the faith communities and all of our communities. Um, and before I pass it on to them, I'm going to really quickly recap where we are with immigration reform in D.C. Um, as you know, NACASAC is a national organization, and we have our hands in the circles in D.C. to try to really move this legislation forward. Um, we're still waiting for a bill to come out in the Senate first, and Speaker Pelosi has re, um, restated her dedication to passing a bill in the House, but she her strategy is it's harder for a bill to pass in the Senate. She wants the Senate to pass one first, and the House will also be ready. So um, right now, from the grounds, we're really focusing on pushing the Senate to um, to pass a bill. And uh, while we have this event this coming Saturday, on March 21st, we're going to be mobilizing tens of thousands in DC. And the, the message is we need it now. And actually, March 21st is a deadline for the Senate to, to introduce a bill. Um, so we are really hopeful and looking to um, the upcoming month, um, but I want to pass it on now. Hi everyone, thank you for coming. My name is Cindy Vendisu, and I was born in Lima, Peru, and I came here when I was four years old. So I've been living in this country undocumented for 21 years. Um, I was an AB540 student, and I graduated from UCLA with a BA in political science. And currently, I'm part of Dream Team Los Angeles, which is a coalition of organizations such as NACASEC and KRC that are working on the DREAM Act. I'm also uh, working at the UCLA Downtown Labor Center with the Underground Undergrads Project. Um, right now, I think that the urgency of this of immigration reform, especially the DREAM Act to pass, are so important to our communities, not just the Latino community, but also um, all our, our, all our immigrant communities that, um, especially in Los Angeles, are so vibrant. Um, I think that this week of action is um, uh, going to be from the 22nd to the 27th, and it's uh, part of a national um, movement, uh, part of United We Dream, and it's uh, like 15 different states, um, over 15 states with over 100 actions that are happening all over the country. Um, this today and the, throughout the whole week, that are really trying to raise more awareness on the DREAM Act and immigration reform for people that need this to pass now. Um, we know personally, like our friends, our family members can be separated. Um, deportation is something that's very real. And also the lack of opportunities for a lot of students who have lived here their entire lives and yet um, can't exercise their degrees and want to give back to this community and to this country. So right now what we're doing is we're going to have escalating actions, um, not just this week, but in March we're going to have coming out day, March 10th, where students will self-identify as being undocumented and why we, we need to show the numbers. There's thousands of us who would benefit from this bill and from any form of immigration reform that we need to pass this year. Um, the DREAM Act has been introduced since 2001 and it hasn't passed and we're in 2010 now. So that's 10 years that I've been waiting and my friends have been waiting, and my, my family's been waiting for this to take place. Um, right now, I'm going to participate in the walk on Saturday. We're going to walk 18 miles, like Olivia said. And um, I'm very excited because, as Los Angeles, we have the largest immigrant community and the most diverse. We really need to show how we support this bill, not, not just because it will benefit students and young people, but because it really benefit our families who want this to pass, who have been 
waiting and who have been working hard in this country um, to have rights. We, I believe that we've earned these rights and we deserve to have this. We value our education and our families and that's why we've been working on this for so long. And personally, I know that this not only benefit my family, but it'll benefit thousands of families all over this country and this city. And that's why I'm doing this, and that's why I'm doing this type of work, because I know it's really important, and we need something to pass now. My name is Pastor Bridie Roberts. I am Program Director at Clergy and Laity United for Economic Justice in Los Angeles. CLU is a statewide organization that works with people who are working to change their lives in the workplace. We work with the working poor. And overwhelmingly, in California, these tens of thousands of workers are in the immigration system. Some of them um, are documented, and some of them have come here without prior authorization looking for a new way of life. CLU believes that immigration reform is perhaps the most compelling moral and human piece of legislation that will confront us in the months to come in the United States. While we fully back health care and also employment activities, we understand that until families are protected, until there is certainty that families can be kept together, until this broken law is changed, workers and the rest of society will be vulnerable. This law is broken and we desperately need comprehensive immigration reform. Literally, families are being ripped apart. Children are coming home from school and their parents have been taken away without due process, without the ability to interact with them in a legal framework. Last year, over 100 people died in detention in the United States, including youth, for immigration offenses. They were imprisoned for civil infractions. We're not talking about criminal infractions, we're talking about civil infractions. That's what the immigration law is. We have a seriously broken system. We are calling all people in our community, people of faith, people of conscience, people who want a better moral society, to stand up with these students who are willing to expose their status, to come out to the public, to say that we are not here with documentation, but we are here, we are part of the society, and support them, and call for a desperately needed reformation. The DREAM Act is crucial for ensuring that students have the ability, that young people have the ability to seize a bright future that they have worked for. There's no reason that people who have lived here most of their life, who have worked hard, shouldn't have access to a driver's license, shouldn't have access to the same kind of financial aid that all other students have access to in the education system, shouldn't work so hard to achieve an incredible degree at UCLA and not have access to the same kind of jobs. Are we a society that's really going to continue to support a two-tier system where some people have the full rights and some people do not? That's not what the United States is about. America is supposed to be a land of dreams and opportunities where families are safe and communities are respected and kept in safety. But our broken immigration system makes that impossible. So this Saturday, members of our community from the faith community across Los Angeles will be joining the walkers We'll be praying for those who walk 1,500 miles, to have to walk 1,500 miles to ask for their rights to be respected and for their status to be guaranteed. And we will ask our, our leaders, our political leaders, to have a moral backbone, to show some, show some leadership in both the Senate and the House of Representatives, and to do what is right, to say that families in our communities must be respected and kept together that this law is broken, and that if we show leadership, we're going to usher in a new era in America, an era where these workers who have contributed so much to our society will have the rights and safety that they should be afforded, and where we will work together to create continuity and community in our cities. So CLU stands behind this comprehensive immigration reform approach, also the DREAM Act. And we will continue to push both our congregations across the interfaith community to be active and to push on our elected representatives to, to like I said, to show some backbone, to be not afraid to be actual leaders that they were elected to be, and to demand change. My name is Jeff Kim, and I'm a graduate student at sociology at CSU Northridge. And I'm also the co-chair of Alliance of Korean American Students in Action, or Akashia, here at Korean Resource Center. 
We have been working since the summer of 2009 to educate the Korean community on the values of immigration reform, as well as advocating for the passage of the Dream Act and Comprehensive Immigration Reform. And students like me will be stepping up on Saturday because they have been personally affected or known people who have been affected by a broken immigration system. I have a friend whose parents were deported when he was 16 years old. And he commutes about four hours a day between his job and his school to make, provide support for his you know, sister and himself while trying to reach his dream of becoming an engineer in this country. And even in his struggles, he maintains a 3.8 GPA. And he also never complains about his situation, but makes the best of what's given to him. And to me, that truly symbolizes the spirits of the dream generation that I will be representing by walking on Saturday. And on Saturday, as we walk, we will be stepping towards winning immigration reform and DREAM Act that will be making our communities better and better future for all Americans. Thank you. sharing testimonies from our community, our diverse communities. And then, um, okay, we're going to make a stop in Salazar Park in East LA, in East LA because um, that's the heart of the Latino immigrant community. And then, So just to recap, we're starting in Seoul International Park, making our way through different communities and ending up back on the intersection of Wilshire and Western. 혹시 질문 있으시면 우리 그 나오신 스피커들한테 질문 있으시면 질문해 주시면 돼요. Uh, we'd like to open up to Q&A for any of the speakers and uh, the panelists, as well as some Chinese. We'll probably get interviews after this is over. One-on-one. -on -one. Yes, there will be one-on-one -on -one interviews okay. afterwards okay. as well. Okay. Are you able to stay for a little bit? <clears throat> any questions? Okay, then we can wrap up and have one on the interview. Thank you. How do you want to do that? Oh, I think it's Thank you. Down so we get to like Main Street. And we're going on Main Street to Temple and then first, first all the way down. Down to like. Yeah. So uh, there's going to be different spots in each place and where we're so going to stop, so and then come come back around to Koreatown again. Mm -hmm. that's so so, yeah. so it, like so we're it asking people like anywhere that they live closer there. or they're um, going to be at to just join there. And just yeah. Walk. And, yeah, and walk. <laughs> so that's great. So yeah, thank, thank you so much. Thank you. I love. Thank you. Okay. Okay.
Victor, he hasn't told me yet. I just saw him this morning. 